Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. Today, I'm gonna show you a practical session on how to enforce tech policies in AWS. So basically, tech policies are type of policy that can help you standardize tags across resources in your organization account. In a tech policy, you specify tagging rules applicable to resources when they are tagged, okay? So let's, uh, I'm already logged into my AWS management console. So I will open up AWS organization service. Okay, so I already have the organization set up over here where the root, uh, in the root account, I have two accounts uh, known as development and production. Okay, so if you look at the policies, okay, there is a tech policy option available. Okay, so it says tech policies help you standardize tags on all tag resources across organization. You can use tech policies to define tag keys, including how they should be capitalized and their allowed values. Okay, so you can learn more using this link. You just need to enable this. Okay, so once you enable it, you can also disable it okay from over here so let's create a policy i already have a policy for cost center so let's just look at the existing policy okay so it says that uh, the tag key should be cost center and it should be like this capitalized like this okay camel case and uh, the tag value should have development okay and this is enforced for ec2 volume so Let's say if I am creating uh, an EC2 volume, okay, and I'm um, giving the tag as cost center and value as ABC, it should not allow me to uh, probably create that resource, and it should give me a uh, an error related to tech policy. Okay, so let's go back and let's delete this policy and let's try to recreate it. Okay. So that we can understand how exactly it works. Okay, maybe the policy is in use. That's the reason it's not allowing me to delete it. So first of all, I need to check the targets and maybe detach it. Okay. So the first option is to detach the policy. Okay, if you want to delete it. Okay, so it's already detached. Now we should be able to delete it. Let's try again and delete this policy. All right, we are good to go. The policy has been deleted. Time to create a new one. Okay, so I'll name it as the same. Okay. Okay, let me put the description as same and uh, <clears throat> I won't we add any tags over here, but yeah, my tag key should be cost center okay and this is my key i want to specify the value as well so i want to add value is development okay and uh, production okay so i want two accounts all right and uh, if there are various options use capitalization that you specified so if you want exact capitalization, you can select this option, okay? Click on, uh, see, there is also an option, okay? Prevent non-compliant operations for this tag. By default, enforcement details inherited from parent policy to enforce compliance on specified resource type, okay? Not listed. So if you want to prevent, okay, on a particular resources, you can select the resource type. So let me select the volume. Okay, so I'm selecting EC2 volume over here. Click on save and create policy. So it will create a policy. Remember, it has not been attached to any of the uh, accounts. So uh, we need to attach it first. Okay, so I'm attaching it to the root. I want to apply it everywhere. Okay, to all my child accounts. Okay, let's look at the targets. Okay, we are good to go. Now, going back to 
All right, let me open this in the new tab and uh, open up the EC2 section, EC2 service, okay. Volumes. Let's create a volume, okay. Make it one gigabyte. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I will add a tag, okay. Add a uh, boss center. Okay, ABC, ABC. And try to create a volume. Okay, see, it's give, it is giving me error for cost center, use the capitalization specified by the tech policy. So let me put it exactly the same. I'll try to create a volume. Okay, so the tech policy does not allow the specific, specified value for the following tech key cost center. Okay, so as you can see, in cost center, we have, if you look at the JSON, okay, we have only two values assigned, development and production. So let's look at the same value for development over here and click on this time, it will allow us to create the wall. So that's how tag policies work. Okay, you, you just saw how we can create and assign it. So this is the way, okay. So thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.